So today's a very exciting day for us as we've announced our investment in the London Array, the world's largest offshore wind farm. Our investment there is just short of 60 million pounds. We're investing alongside a group of other banks in a syndicate which is going to provide debt finance for a wind farm which was all equity financed originally, but now that it's operating, we can provide some debt finance. This will allow the original developer, in this case Mazdar of the UAE, to recycle that capital into another round of offshore wind projects in the UK. What's important for us is to create a secondary market in operating wind farms and to bring in debt and try and establish this as a key asset class. So this is a very exciting transaction for us. Our investment in the London Array is our third offshore wind investment. All of them have focused on operating wind farms and the, the real rationale for doing that is to create a secondary market in these products. We believe operating wind farms should be a great investment for financial institutions, people with long-dated capital like pension funds and institutional investors. By helping support these transactions and bringing in these capital, we've allowed the original developers, in this case Mazdar, to recycle its capital and put that into new construction assets. We'll also start to invest in due course in construction assets. But bringing in this capital, crowding it in, creating an asset class around offshore wind is an incredibly exciting thing to do here in the UK. All of our investments to date in offshore wind have been in operating assets. That was the easier place to start. We wanted to create an asset class in operating assets that we could bring in other people's capital. But in each case, each of the developers agreed to recycle the capital they were receiving out as we debt financed things or took equity positions into construction. Now construction is the next area where you will see us making some investments. There are a number of very large wind farms which are teed up and ready for investment at the scale at which we're designed to invest. You'll see us over the next few months make commitments to these wind farms to sit alongside the original developers, taking construction risk and stimulating that market. So we started with operating, we're now moving to construction assets.